What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on Mquan Reviews. You're watching me, Mquan. And in this video, we're going to be comparing the colors for the brand new iPhone XS and XS Max. We have the gold color, the silver, and finally, the space gray. And in this video, I'll be helping you make that decision as to exactly which color you want to go for for your iPhone XS or XS Max. colors on the brand new iPhone XS and XS Max. But before I jump into today's video, if you're new around here, be sure to smash that subscribe button down below because you'll be notified whenever videos like this go live here on the channel. Plus, if you want to catch up with my early unboxing of the iPhone XS, XS Max and the Apple Watch Series 4, then I'll leave a card somewhere on the side for you to check out at the end of the video. So the iPhone XS and XS Max, there are differences between the XS and XS Max. There are only two really, the screen size and the battery capacity. But other than that, between the different colors, there are no internal differences. So it doesn't matter really if you get a gold, silver or space gray. Internally, you're still getting the A12 Bionic chip. You're still getting the dual camera uh, setup. You're still getting iOS that's powering the devices. There are no differences except on the outside. And for some of us, that can sometimes be one of the major issues. So the first color is probably the flagship color for this year's iPhones. And that's the color that we saw all over the keynote, which is gold. Now I have to admit, this color really surprised me because not only is it sophisticated, it actually appeals to both males and females. And it's not really a traditional gold. We've seen Apple experiment with gold over the years. This, I think, is perfect. This is like a copper, kind of vintage, vintage-esque rose gold. It looks and feels incredible in the hand. And the gold that you'll see here um, is mostly concentrated around the stainless steel band in the middle. And that is applied through a PVD process, so it allows color to be added to the stainless steel. The benefit of that is that you can have color to that material, but part of the downside is the fact that if it picks up scratches and scuffs, those aren't necessarily easy to remove. But for the most part, I found in the hand, it's actually perfectly fine. If you do have sort of oils on your fingertips, they do show up as kind of black streaks on the band, but it's easily, you know, removable with a bit of fiber cloth. Now that's complemented on the back with this kind of cream off-white with a shimmer of gold. Uh, on the back glass panel, which looks really, really nice. It stands out from the other two, and to be honest with you, this is my personal favorite from this year's iPhone announcements, and I have one in this color for the iPhone XS Max. Now the second color is a color from pretty much last year, which is silver. This has a stainless steel uh, polished finish. Looks very nice. I think it reminds me of, let's say, a, a luxury Swiss watch that has a polished uh, bracelet. Very, very nice. And the only downside of this is the fact that it will pick up hairline scratches. But the upside is that there are materials out there and ways and methods to actually remove that uh, from the stainless steel band, which isn't necessarily as easy to do on the gold and the space gray. Now that's complemented on the back uh, glass panel with a white back panel. And I like the white because it's nice, it's clean, it doesn't really show up fingerprints and scratches as much as the other two. So that is an added bonus. Now the third color is of course space gray. Space gray out of the three colors is the color option if you want to go with that whole blacked out iPhone look. It's got the space gray, again, through the PVD uh, method, stainless steel band. It will show up scratches and scuffs and bumps much more clearly than the other two. And it's actually a lot harder, in fact, I'd say close to impossible to remove some of those scratches without actually going through the PVD process again. So those scratches and marks and bumps are gonna be there for a very long time. Now that's complemented on the back with a black back glass panel. Now this out of the three of them is probably the most notorious for fingerprints. They show up ridiculously easily. Now at this year's keynote, Apple did mention the fact that they've updated the glass both on the front and the back to be more uh, scratch resistant and fingerprint resistant. Now this brings us on to the final point which is these types of phones should not be used 
without a case. I mean, if you do use them without a case, I sure as hell hope that you have taken out Apple Care because all it takes is one slip, one mistake, and that will be a very, very costly mistake for your iPhone. And here's the thing, once they're in the cases, all the area that has the color pretty much gets hidden. And that's one of the downsides of having a case on this design. When it's outside of the case, it's unbelievable, whichever color option you go for. But the moment you put it in the case, it's actually incredibly difficult to tell what color iPhone XS or XS Max you're holding in your hand. All right, guys, I hope this video was useful to any of you out there that are still undecided about which color to go for. If you found it helpful, then smash that like button down below. And if you're new around here, then hit subscribe to see more videos like this. See you in the next video. I'm Mkwan. Peace and blessings.